Well, hello, friends. So good uh, that we could be together once again today, up in Cavalier today, but I thought I'd put together a, a devotion uh, for you, a passage today that I want to focus on and kind of also uh, really want to piggyback maybe a little bit on my sermon from yesterday. But this passage is 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 5, verse 17. So if anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. Everything old has passed away. See, everything has become new. And in some of this, with, with that passage, I want to talk maybe a little bit about how we can let God change us during this time of Lent. I think really each... Each year as we approach this, as we approach what Easter is, we get excited about that celebration, right? About Christ's resurrection from the dead and what that means for us in our lives. But his resurrection wouldn't nearly have as much meaning, I think, to us without what that sacrifice on the cross was of why he went to the cross and his work in the lives of people and how we grow so much from those uncomfortable moments of Christ on the cross. For some, it might be simple to take these 40 days and just kind of skip over them, right? And push ourselves and not put ourselves into that wilderness, not put ourselves there. And just look for Easter Sunday. But as I, I asked those questions during my sermon yesterday, I want to think a little bit today about how do we enrich our spirit during Lent. And so I got to thinking of a couple more things that maybe we can do. Maybe we can... Simply ask God to help us focus on what the true reason for Easter is, right? What our awareness and our spirit points us towards. Maybe we can confess whatever thoughts or actions are hindering our our intimacy with God and and ask God to forgive us, send his grace on us so that we can have a better life. I think I've said it before, I think we can thank God for all of all of the resources that he's given us, our time, our money, our energy, whether it's a, a talent, a skill, whatever that is that we thank him for that. That we pray about how we best use those gifts as a resource to serve him. And then I, I think part of Lent is, is uh, not only seeking forgiveness, but being able to forgive as well. So, in these 40 days, maybe we find someone to forgive. The, the Holy Spirit will enable us to forgive as Christ forgave and to be that person that says, you're forgiven, I forgive you. Whether we send them just a text message whether we call them or whatever, or maybe face to face. Not only seeking forgiveness, but giving forgiveness. These are just some more things that I think we can do. We can simplify our lives by reflecting on all of these things, by serving one another, by serving the church, 
by being called as, as beloved children of God to put ourselves in that wilderness a little bit, to walk with Jesus, to know what it was that he did for us. Not just to focus ourselves on Easter Sunday, on the resurrection of Christ, but this walk to the cross, to open our lives to him, to let him in, and to be ever present on that Good Friday when Christ was crucified, knowing that on that cross he took everything from us, all of our sin, all of our hurt, all of our pain, And that creates in us clean hearts, pure spirits, everlasting joy. Would you pray with me? Father God, we come to you as broken people, people in need of forgiveness, of love, of compassion. Be with us today as we continue in our wilderness. Revive our souls. Lead us to you. Keep us close. Father God, we just ask that you heal any pain emotionally, physically, spiritually, that you continue to be the healer of every ill and the great, great physician that you are. Father God, during our Lenten journey, may we remember what it was that your Son did for us on that cross, that we may rejoice in knowing that we have a home with you in eternity, and that although we return to dust, it is in the glory of you that we come, knowing that we are loved and we are your beloved child. God, we lift all these things to you, both spoken and silent. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, thank you for taking a few moments to spend with me again today. Always great when we can have this opportunity. Uh, as a reminder, I am taking some vacation starting on Thursday. Um, and so uh, next Sunday, you have the opportunity of Pastor Ivy coming in to preach for you uh, and to lead you in worship. Um, and so uh, look for some special guests over the time that I'm gone for our devotion time. Uh, my thanks to those folks that are, are doing that for us. Remember that this community of faith loves you, that I love you, but most importantly, that God loves you and wraps his arms around you. Till we see each other again, take care. Bye for now.